Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on, you guys? This is Joseph Conlon coming to you with your Chris Benoit Dark Side of the Ring, I guess, recap and thoughts. Um, you could tell by my voice the way, like, I reacted during this, and, like, not normal, not exciting, like, shocked. And I upset by everything that happened in this documentary. This was probably, I would have to say, one of the best documentaries I've ever seen. Especially a wrestling documentary. This was one of the best wrestling documentaries that I have ever seen. And, um, a lot of stuff happened on part one. We got the great WrestleMania moment with Chris Benoit beating Triple H and Shawn Michaels to become the World Heavyweight Champion. And Eddie Guerrero defeating Kurt Angle to become the IC Champion. And these two were like this. These were two, these, they, they were like brothers. They were so close to each other they would go to shows together they would spend time together they would work out together they would stay at hotels together they were like brothers they never left each other and one night for one thing for part one that I, I haven't seen I did not know was that these guys wrestled for in Japan. Um, I don't remember what Chris Benoit's name was in Japan, but I think Eddie Guerrero's name was like Tiger Man or something. Uh, the Tiger, Eddie Guerrero, and he wore this mask over his face in Japan, and I never knew that. And um, before Eddie won the IC Championship from Kurt Angle. I never knew that Eddie Guerrero got fired from WWE because of uh, DUI and he passed out three times and went to the hospital twice. The third time he passed out, his wife Vicky Guerrero did nothing about it. She just let him sit there and then she was happy that he got fired because he had to recuperate himself, rejoice himself and, um, you know, be healthy again. And then all of a sudden, uh, WWE rehired uh, Eddie Guerrero. And he won the IC Championship at WrestleMania from Kurt Angle, which was a very cool moment. And then I feel like right after that, uh, it was a few months back, I think this happened in July, Eddie Chavo and Chris Benoit were all going to bed. And they said we'll meet each other 7 a.m. right down the lobby to go to the gym together. So the next morning, Chris Benoit, he's down at the lobby waiting to go to the gym. Uh, and the security card calls um, Shafa. And it was like, something's wrong with the uncle. Shavo didn't know what the heck was going on. So he took Shavo to Eddie's room. Eddie's door, Eddie's door was double locked. And um, he had a chain. So they had to get a chainsaw. Or like a, a bowl cutter. To cut the chain. And all you see Eddie is he's down the floor. He's gurgling. He has a toothbrush in his hand. And he passed out in Shavo's arms. And Shavo called Chris. And told that Eddie passed away. And Chris was screaming off the top of his lungs. They got an actor to be Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit was on the phone. Scream, like screaming from the top of his lungs. After what happened with Eddie Guerrero. It's one thing about Dark Side of the Ring, man. They got... They got really, they got the actors, and they, they played them really good. 
they play like the actors really good to like do like what happened in the film, what happened in real life. And you saw Chris Benoit crying on stage after WWE honored Eddie Guerrero. Chris Benoit was devastated. He was crying to Chris Jericho at the funeral. He was crying at Vicky Vicky Guerrero, he, uh, hugging Vicky Guerrero, hugging the doll, uh, the pillow that Eddie would always lay on. And Chris Benoit never recovered from Eddie Guerrero's passing. So he didn't talk to his wife. He didn't talk to his kids. He didn't talk to Vicky. He was basically quiet emotions to himself. And it came to the point where Vicky and his wife, Nancy, got him a journal to write his thoughts in. And it would make it feel like he was writing to Eddie Guerrero. And that was very emotional because he wanted, he wanted his friend to be there. So if he can't see his friend, he's going to write to his friend and hopefully... His friend Eddie will see it. And then... And then we go into part two. And, um... Chris Benoit... Is dead. So is... His wife. And so is... His son Daniel. And you could tell by the sour of my voice how upsetting and emotional this really was to watch it was I, I would say it was devastating and they canceled that show on Monday Night Raw and they honored those three hours for the roster to talk about how good Chris Benoit was and then it was known a week later that Chris Benoit was the murderer of his own family's deaths. And Jericho was like, you know, you can line anybody in that locker room up to the wall. You wouldn't expect Chris Benoit to murder his own family. And Vince went to the local news he even announced himself on Raw that, you know, they will not be using the word Benoit. It's banned. You, you basically can't say the word Benoit, and you can never bring it up again. And you, you know how hard it was for those superstars uh, not to bring up what, ha what happened with the Benoit family. It was devastating. And then his son, David Benoit, he, what do you think he's got to live through? He's got to live through being bullied and he can't live a normal life because of what, what his father did. And that's really upsetting to him. And then at the end of the, at the, end of the documentary, Chris Jericho, being the nice, the nice, generous man that he is got David Benoit and Nancy's sister to reunite since that tragedy happened so they reunite Chris Jericho got them to reunite and he got them tickets to AEW All Out that was a rejoicing moment to see that was a after all the tragedy and all the um, bad things that happened in this documentary, to see David and his sister reunite and go to a wrestling show together, it was unbelievable. And it was a great moment. And Chris Jericho is a great man for that. And let me find a couple tweets that I said about this um, 
documentary. I'm going to scroll all the way down to Tuesday. But I'm going to do it. Um, that Chris Benoit documentary was one of the most emotional and best documentaries I've ever watched. If you thought part one was hard to watch, was hard. Wait until part two when they go through the deaths of the Chris Benoit family. And I also need to add that Jericho, J.R., D. Malenko, uh, Nancy's sister, and Charlotte Guerrero were all great in this. I like talk about the stories. Uh, they were all wonderful. And I love when they get the wrestlers to be on this show and, talk and express their feelings. I really like that a lot. And that's my thoughts on the dark side of the ring, uh, part one and part two with Chris Benoit. Dark side of the ring is a great show, man. Tuesday nights at 10 p.m. on Viceland TV. Um, they produce really good, really good stuff over there uh, every Tuesday night. And I'm going to... Get the names up here for season two. And I'm thinking about making this a weekly thing. When I come on. Prob uh, when I come on. Every Saturday. And I. Review Dark Side of the Ring. For the show. And it won't be long. It'll be like. You know like it is now. Like 13 or 12 minutes. So season one. We got Chris Benoit. Uh, New Jack is next week. Uh, WWF Brawl for All on April 7th, Jimmy Snooker on April 14th, Dino Bravo, which is one I'm very, I'm really looking forward to that, and the Jimmy Snooker one on April 21st, David Schultz, Herb Abrams, Owen Hart, that's going to be something, that is going to be something. And the Road Warriors. That's season two of Dark Side of the Ring. Guys, I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching this video so much. If you haven't already, subscribe right here on the Big Fight Field channel. We're going to have one last video for the week until WrestleMania week. The News and Rumors video tomorrow. I will be on the Big Fight Field channel tomorrow. For your news and rumors video on your Sunday. So you got that to look forward to. Make sure you guys go check out this week's Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and AEW. I got it in the wrong way. I should have said Raw, AEW, NXT, SmackDown. But it's whatever. I'm getting out of here. Have a good night. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ciao.